Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo and it's raining, but I'm gonna take you guys in my house to show you how I decorated for spring. So we'll start off here in my kitchen where I decorated my little hutch in a black and white and lemon theme. For those of you that saw my Valentine and Christmas tour, you'll recognize this picture frame. I always switch out the fabric that's in it instead of photos. And that's the little wreath I just recently DIY'd. Above that, I have two clearance vines. I just felt like that sign was too white and our walls are also white. So I put it inside of my clearance tobacco basket from Hobby Lobby. And I think it looks really cute over here. Up here on top, I always have a little lamp. It gets really dark in here at night. And my, I call them little tuna cans. They're just little galvanized tins with lids from Hobby Lobby. Some of the Dollar Tree greenery. And that bakery crate was a clearance find at Michael's. My DIY topiary. And this little picture I picked up a few years back at Ross with a thrifted crate. Moving down to the first shelf, you guys will probably recognize a few of these things. I like to reuse all my decor over and over. That's actually a little washcloth from the Dollar Tree. And that little basket is a Bullseye's Playground $3 basket. This picture was thrifted maybe a year ago. And there's my little DIY pedestal. A couple more clearance and thrifted finds and some greenery in my picture from the Dollar Tree. Moving down to my second shelf, this is all stuff that I either had or the little fresh sign I just recently DIY'd. Now, I get asked all the time about this little white house. That was a galvanized house in Bullseye's Playground over Christmas. I did a DIY on it and painted it, removed the snow, I picked up some lemons on Amazon and just a few little knickknacks that I have collected over the years. These are my little measuring cups that I use. I got that at Ross. And this is one of those candle holders for the tea lights from the Dollar Tree. I just removed that portion and filled it up with some lemon heads and added a little fabric. That large galvanized house was a clearance after Christmas find at Target. And that's pretty much it for this little corner. I just like to decorate the top portion of my hutch. Because we use the bottom portion, I have all of our cereals and oatmeal for the morning down here for the kids. Keep all my wax melts in that drawer and cake plates and parts to my blender down there. I've been asked a lot lately about this cupboard. So this was a piece of furniture we picked up on Craigslist probably five, six years ago. I painted it teal and it was in my daughter's room for a long time. And when she outgrew it and no longer needed display for her toys, we went ahead and I painted it and brought it in here. So now I'm going to take you guys into the living room and I decorated in a completely different style in there. On my entryway bench, I just switched out my pillows and pillow covers. I wanted to do a lot of black and white with a lot of green in here. So if you saw my Valentine home tour, this looks pretty familiar. I did switch up just a few things. I wanted to do sort of a messy gardener's shack look for my spring decor and I pulled out a lot of things from my garden and just things I had on hand that I thought would work together. Up here I just took the red out of the banner I made from Valentine's Day and I pulled out the flowers and hearts and added a bunch of faux succulents that I already had. Over here, I just have a topiary. I just moved this from across the room. And these books are actually a free find. My local library leaves them for the taking. And I just removed the covers. 
This is a thrifted chicken wire cage I picked up recently. And those are some terracotta pots that I painted green for fall with some moss stones in them. Over here, I have a little glass vase I picked up at Michael's long ago. I just added some twine inside of it with some succulents. Over here is another thrifted find. This is actually a cement shelf support, but I thought it looked like a corbel, so I brought it home. I actually used it in my garden and it ended up getting naturally aged like this. So over here I have two more thrifted finds. These are candle holders I recently found at my local thrift store. And this little tin is another thrifted treasure. I found this last year. I just added a little Ikea plant. I always try to pick up crates like this when I find them at a good price. This was a clearance find, my little bird from Target, and my little shovel is from Hobby Lobby. And I just added a little bit of burlap. So this little ladder back chair was a clearance find from Ikea last year. And down below I have a little galvanized tin. I'm thinking about painting or staining it a darker color. I just have a pillow on it with a throw from Five Below that was just $5. Over here I have a trellis from Hobby Lobby. I actually removed the stakes on this and hung it up here quite a while ago. I wanted to add a little something up here so I took a wreath I've had forever, hot glued some moss in the center, and I just put the clearance tobacco basket from Hobby Lobby behind it. Above my entry bench, I decorate a shelf that is pretty high. We have really high ceilings. Up here, I brought in that little wrought iron piece in the middle from my garden, cleaned it up, and put a faux succulent in it, along with a few more thrifted items, and my recent bay leaf wreath DIY topiary. Over here I added a couple of bows to some topiaries from my 99 cents only store, my home sign that I just DIY'd, and a few of my little wooden houses. This is kind of our catch-all area right behind the door, and I keep a little galvanized tin on it for all my sunglasses and keys. Over here is our little shoe chest from Ikea. We just added the little wooden topper. This is a planter that I put some succulents in that I picked up at a thrift store. That little decorative piece was a clearance find at Hobby Lobby. And this is a planter I picked up at a thrift store. Just turned it upside down and added the wood on top. And welcome to my office. This is where I often edit a lot of the videos that I make. I just do a little something back here and I added some ribbon to a boxwood wreath I already had and I just took some flowers from Hobby Lobby to add to it make it a little bit more like spring. Over here, I kept it pretty simple. I brought out my black and white bunny that I got last year at Michael's, my runner that I just recently purchased from Amazon. And this was actually in my garden. It's something that I usually have full of succulents. Well, they had outgrown it. So I picked up some greenery at Hobby Lobby and added some moss. And I just wanted to keep it simple 
because over here we keep a lot of controllers and remotes in my little thrifted dresser. And now for my mantle. So we do have a TV in here. This is our main living space. Behind it are always wires, so I'm always trying to figure out how to hide them. What I did this time was put this galvanized container from Ross into a thrifted magazine holder that I painted black. And this is actually a garland that I just kind of threw in there. Over here is kind of my inspiration for everything. I wanted to do a lot of books and wood tones and plants. So this is another little vase from Michael's, a little wreath, this little garden container I picked up at Ross a few years back with some greenery and more free books. And I have it all in a tray from Target Dollar Spot during the fall. Lots more greenery from Hobby Lobby. And there's my new scoop from Hobby Lobby with my little spritzer from Target, Bullseye's Playground, and just a few more things that I threw together. Over here, I didn't do anything spectacular. I just switched out a couple of my pillow covers. The black and white are from Amazon and the green one is a Hobby Lobby pillowcase as is the black one over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I decorated this year for spring. I'm probably going to make a few changes for Easter, so I'll bring that to you as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon.